Yes, I have never been to an event, an event in my life, never in my life, where there were so many jello shots. I don't know what that. Were we sold out of jello here in Central Indiana over the weekend? I mean, jello shot after jello shot after jello shot, and some of you guys didn't put much jello in the jello shot. Some of you just had like all vodka or all whatever. But yeah. It was a great time, fantastic time on Friday on Card Day with all of you out there. Uh, what I've heard, Florida was great, the tour the gang was great. Had a, a fantastic party. And I know that some of you got wet, there were some wet weather conditions for Legends Day on Saturday. And the, the raindrops and the storms with Zach Brown Band playing. Carly Pierce and our friend Clayton Anderson opened up the show on Saturday. Uh, and then yesterday, it's funny, you always get a little bit, and I was waiting on it, because everybody thinks, well, all you're doing is uh, patronizing uh, your your Twitter followers. Yesterday, after the race, I mean, it was incredible. The finish was incredible. And after the race, I said, you know, once again, Indy shows the entire world, which exactly it did yesterday, why that there is no race that compares to the Indy 500. Yeah, I know I'm from here, I'm biased. I know that I've been going here, I know it's traditional, I know all that you're going to tell me, especially if you're some out-of-town hawk. I know it. I mean, if you've relocated here and you think everything where you're from is great, A, get the hell back there. B, understand what I'm telling you. You are not going to find, there is not a better race in the world, nowhere. Not just yesterday. But you're not going to get your money's worth on an event anywhere in the world as you did yesterday. I mean, I know. I know why most of you are going out there. I mean, you want... You're probably not completely diehard in the car, but it is the event, the level in which you're interested in the event. We're there. That's why I have to listen to you all the time. Well, you know what? The dumbest thing in the world is this being black. Now, now this, I am incredibly biased about to, because I'm glad you guys are forced to listen to the race on the radio, because A, there shouldn't be any forcing you, that should be protocol anyway, because even as good as the job as NBA, NBC did, and they did, it, it always, the radio broadcast takes you to an entirely different level, it always has, and always will, still does today, and yes, I am smack dab in the middle of that, so I am going to crap where I eat, I want you guys to listen to it. I have to hear all the time about what is on the TV, and then, you know, if somebody says that, somebody else says, well, if you buy NBC Gold, and you plug this into that, and hook that up to that, and if you get up on a chair, and you stand on one leg, and put a ding-dong aluminum foil wrapper on the end of a metal stick, and hold it up to the sky, then you'll be able to watch it for three and a half hours. Being there gets it done. Being there, being a part of yesterday gets it done. I'm glad. I'm glad that everybody goes. I'm glad that it's over 300,000. I'm glad that you can get over 300,000 or near that mark and then say, well, you know what? It was down from last year. Down from what? It is absolutely an amazing event. And then when you can back up an amazing event with the race itself being as good as it was, you know, I'm not the, the deepestly rooted racing fan out there, but where else are you going to get that type of money's worth there? I mean, there...
This is a radar indicated in front. The following effects are expected. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations of activity include Brownsburg, Pittsburgh, North Salem, and Lisbon. This includes the following highways. Interstate 65 between mile markers 128 and 129. Interstate 74 between mile markers 56 and 64. The tornado watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Central Indiana. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of the building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 3.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Indiana, Boone and Hendricks. I'm not, I'm not anti-NASCAR, I'm all for it, that's okay, but you gotta be kidding me. Charlotte, last night? You know what, I'm not anti-F1 either. I'd love to go to Monaco one of these days. I mean, that'd be a bucket list event for me right there. Oh my god. I used to be a guy driving for Ferrari, I don't know, was it was a metal or something? I drove around like a lap with a tire that was busted. And it was, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's doing about 10 miles an hour. I think my Toro would have beat him around the course. Again, nothing delivers. Quite like what yesterday delivered and just continuously does that to you. It was amazing and it makes you feel bad too when it's over. Yeah, it makes you feel bad because you're going to wait another year until that comes back. Weather held off. I swear to you, so I'm walking over there Sunday morning. It's probably about 4.30 in the morning. I had to get there. Uh, just a little bit before five, because we started out and did um, the pre-race show, which we'll get into. I, I love that as well. But I get over there about 4:30, and man, there is nothing. Lightning is lighting up the sky to the northwest. I think there is no way in the world this is going to be a long day here. That thing just kind of slid to the northeast. Yeah, it's funny. All day long yesterday, pouring rain and storms to the north, pouring rains and storms to the south. And nothing here. Nothing here. It was amazing. And you guys got a great race. Hell, I don't know. We'll ask some folks that do know. Michael Young, the track dude, bottom of the hour. Robin Miller, who was spectacular on NBC. And NBC's taking him to a different level, both NBC and NBC Sports Network. I mean, you realize when you're doing something and you have the best, the most knowledgeable dude that has ever covered this sport, when you have him available to speak, you, you let it go. I saw him doing his thing yesterday. We're doing ours, and uh, he, and uh, who's the guy with the beard? I don't know who the hell he is. The guy with the beard and Dale Jr. Were